The ciliary ganglion is a parasympathetic ganglion located just behind the eye in the posterior orbit. It measures 1 a euro 2 mm in diameter and in humans contains approximately 2,500 neurons. The ocular motor nerve coming into the ganglion contains pregangelionic axons from the adenoestral nucleus which forms synapses with the ciliary neurons. The postgangelionic axons run in the short ciliary nerves and innervate two eye muscles, the sphincter pupilla constricts the pupil, a movement known as meiosis. The opposite, midriasis, is the dilation of the pupil. The ciliaris contracts, releasing tension on the zonular fibers, making the lens more convex, also known as accommodation. Both of these muscles are involuntary a euro they are controlled by the autonomic nervous system. It is one of four parasympathetic ganglia of the head and neck. Anatomy Three types of nerve fibers run through the ciliary ganglion, parasympathetic fibers, sympathetic fibers and sensory fibers. Only parasympathetic fibers form synapses in the ganglion. The other two types of nerve fibers simply pass through. In classical anatomy, the ciliary ganglion is said to have three euro or roots, a euro a parasympathetic root of ciliary ganglion, a sympathetic root of ciliary ganglion, a sensory root of ciliary ganglion. Diseases equals add a tonic pupil equals Diseases of the ciliary ganglion produce a tonic pupil. This is a pupil that does not react to light and has an abnormally slow and prolonged response to attempted near vision. When a patient with an ADI pupil attempts to focus on a nearby object, the pupil constricts slowly. On close inspection, the constricted pupil is not perfectly round. When the patient focuses on a more distant object, the pupil remains constricted for several minutes, and then slowly dilates back to the expected size. Tonic pupils are fairly common a euro they are seen in roughly one out of every 500 people. A patient with anisocoria whose pupil does not react to light most likely has Addy syndrome a euro idiopathic degeneration of the ciliary ganglion. Physiology, the strange behavior of tonic pupils was first explained by Irene Lewinfeld in 1979. The ciliary ganglion contain many more nerve fibers directed to the ciliary muscle than nerve fibers directed to the constrictor pupilla euro roughly 20 times more. The ciliary muscle is also more massive than the constrictor pupilli, again by a factor of 20. Based on these observations, Lewinfeld proposed an explanation of the tonic pupil. She noted that pathological destruction of nerve cells in the ciliary ganglion that is found in all cases of adi pupil. In her own words, leaked a Euro unregistered trademark essay that in a given fresh Adia Euro unregistered trademark S pupil, a random 70% of the cells in the ciliary ganglion stop working. And that, in a couple of months, these neurons regrow and randomly re innovate both in tranquilus sphincters. Some parasympathetic light reaction neurons that were originally destined for the iris sphincter will end up innovating the ciliary muscle. But there will not be enough of them to budge that big muscle, so there will be no detectable accommodation with exposure to light. The other way around, it is a different story. There will be plenty of accommodated neurons regrowing into the iris sphincter, and it won a Euro unregistered trademark to take very many of them to make a little muscle like the iris sphincter contract. This means that every time the patient accommodates her gaze to a near object, some of the innovation to the ciliary muscle will spill over into the iris and constrict the pupil. Lewin felt a Euro unregistered trademark S theory is now generally accepted. It explains the defining features of a tonic pupil. 1. The pupil does not react to light. The original light reaction neurons have been destroyed. 2. Tonic constriction with attempted near vision. Aberrant regeneration of nerve fibers intended for the ciliary muscle causes abnormal, tonic contraction of the pupil with accommodation. 3. Segmental iris constriction. When carefully examined under magnification, the iris does not constrict uniformly with attempted near vision. Only the re innovated segments contract, producing a slightly irregular contour to the pupil. 4. Denervation supersensitivity. Like any denervated muscle, the iris becomes supersensitive to its normal neurotransmitter. 
very weak solutions of cholinergic substances such as pilocarpine cause the denervated iris to constrict. Tonic pupils are usually due to ADE syndrome, but other diseases can denervate the ciliary ganglion. Peripheral neuropathies occasionally produce tonic pupils. Herpes zoster virus can attack the ciliary ganglion. Trauma to the orbit can damage the short ciliary nerves. Anything that denervates the ciliary ganglion will produce a tonic pupil due to aberrant nerve regeneration. Equals ADE syndrome equals ADE syndrome is tonic pupil plus absent deep tendon reflexes. ADE syndrome is a fairly common, benign, idiopathic neuropathy that selectively affects the ciliary ganglion and the spinal cord neurons involved in deep tendon reflex arcs. It usually develops in middle age, although it can occur in children. A variant of ADE syndrome, Ross syndrome, affects sweating as well. Early in the course of ADE syndrome the pupil will be fixed and dilated. The sphincter pupillae will be paralyzed. There will be no response to accommodation a euro the ciliary muscle is also paralyzed. With aberrant nerve regeneration, the pupil will remain fixed, but it will constrict with attempted near vision. The constriction will be abnormal. Late in the course of ADE syndrome, the pupil becomes small. It will still be a euro e fixed a euro and it will continue to show abnormal, tonic constriction with attempted near vision. Equals light near dissociation equals, in some neurological disorders, the pupil does not react to light, but it does react to accommodation. This is called a euro oe light near dissociation a euro. In ADE syndrome, damage involving the ciliary ganglion manifests light near dissociation and a tonically dilated pupil. Other causes of light near dissociation involve damage to the brainstem, where a tonic pupil is not produced. Brainstem causes of light near dissociation include Argyle Robertson pupil and Paranord syndrome. Irene Lewinfeld is generally credited for being the first physiologist to make this distinction. References Perez, G. M. Kieser, R. B. Cell body counts in human ciliary ganglia. Investigative Ophthalmology and Visual Science 27, 1428 Euro 31. PMID 3,744,735. Kawasaki, A. Physiology, Assessment, and Disorders of the Pupil. Current Opinion in Ophthalmology 10, 394 Euro 400 DOI 10.1097/00055735-199912000-0005. PMID 10,662,243. Thompson, H. S. Carden, R. H. Irene Lewinfeld, Ph.D. Physiologist of the Pupil. Journal of Neuroophthalmology, the official journal of the North American Neuroophthalmology Society 26, 139 Euro 10.1097/01000022270.02122 AO PMID 16845317 Thompson HS Addy syndrome some new observations Transactions of the American Ophthalmological Society 75 587 a euro 626 PMC 1,311,565. PMID 613,531. Additional images. External links. Anatomy figure, 2903-04 at Human Anatomy Online, SUNY Downstate Medical Center A deeper dissection of the right orbit from a superior approach. Atlas image. N2A4P2 at the University of Michigan Health System branches of trigeminal nerve, lateral view, cell-centered database, ciliary ganglion, lesson 3 at the anatomy lesson by Wesley Norman, cranium of the anatomy lesson by Wesley Norman.